The left's fight to take down your Second Amendment right is stronger than ever before. Joining me now to react is musician, outdoorsman, and Second Amendment advocate and friend of mine, Ted Nugent, who has a new album out, Detroit Muscle. Welcome. Well, Madman, welcome. Good to be on with I you. I feel welcome. You know, you know it, I got to tell you, Eric, I feel welcome. I, I listen to you. Truth, logic, and common sense is the rocket fuel, fuel for the American dream. But more importantly, your truth, logic, and common sense, undeniable truth, logic, and common sense, is kryptonite to the left. So God bless you. Stay on course. You're, you're my man. Nicely done, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mad Man. Let's talk a little bit about Matthew McConaughey, McConaughey being invited to the White House, uh, the briefing room, to make his pitch for more gun control. What are your thoughts on that? Well, God bless this great man. I mean, uh, he's an asset. He's a hard worker. He has a wonderful, admirable work ethic. He's very talented, and he has cultivated, nurtured, and managed those talents to bring us great enrichment in the entertainment world. But boy, could he be more clueless about crime and gun control. All I can tell you is that every word of, out, out of his mouth about gun control would not save one life. He has no answers. It's all feel-good, emotional stuff from an insulated, distant Hollywood perspective. And I know he's not your typical, you know, disconnected, isolated Hollywood celebrity because he lives here in Texas. He likes to hunt. He has guns. But I know for a fact, I've studied these uh, shootings, Eric, from... Virginia Tech, here at Libby's Cafeteria in Texas, uh, Columbine, uh, Parkland, El Paso, now this horror story in Uvalde. Mark my words when I tell you, because I train with these guys that are supposed to run towards the gunfire since Columbine. I have studied the rate of fire and the timing and the maneuvers of the shooters. In each instance, Eric, if they were using a single shot, 20 gauge squirrel gun with number three buckshot, since nobody resisted, nobody fought back, nobody came to protect them, a single shot, 20 gauge bird gun would have caused a higher body count. Oprah doesn't know that. Whoopi Goldberg doesn't know that. Matthew McConaughey doesn't know that. Joe Biden doesn't know anything. And I'm telling you, these proposed increased gun control measures will not save a single life. Know it for sure. No doubt, no doubt, and and you know the thought this raised the the, the purchase age uh, for for an AR to twenty one. Meanwhile, these same people could go away, could go to to war for us, and be using a, a much higher powered rifle. And then someone comes back from war with PTSD, goes to the VA, and says, "Look, I'm not feeling right," and all of a sudden they're not allowed to to protect themselves. It's 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 crazy what 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 they're actually thinking. But what 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 Ted Nugent. Man who knows everything about guns, everything is, is about guns and, and shooters, and he does his work, he does his homework, he studies. What does Ted Nugent say would be most effective to stop these mass shootings, especially with our most vulnerable little kids in schools? Well, when we've got this freak in the White House and we got a culture of depravity running amok in this country, we're going to have to go all the way back for quality control because right now we're maniacally scrambling for damage control. And the quality control can be summarized by how my dad raised us. Discipline, accountability, true north, responsibility, being the best that you can be. That parenting guideline still exists in this country, but in all these instances where these creeps have turned into violent, evil vi criminals, all those elements for a proper upbringing have been missing. And now you start adding the celebration of, you know, teaching kindergartners about oral sex and that, that transgenderism is, is more normal than heterosexuality. We are literally in a whirlwind of cultural abandonment, moral abandonment, parental abandonment. And again, only the guilty need to feel guilty because everybody in my life, they're all good parents. They're all good kids. We don't have any criminals. We don't have any violent people in our life, in my band, my crew, my neighbors. Everybody in my life are good, conscientious, caring, lawful people. But if you really want to start in this current cluster that we're in right now, secure the damn schools. 
I mean, one point of, and this isn't a guitar player's hunch, it's been proven. One point of entrance, all other entries locked, have a real commando, I mean a real tuned in guy that's trained in tactics and firepower and criminality and have him looking for trouble, not kind of casually walking around Parkland, and maybe he'll run into trouble, have a commando that values those children's lives and have this commando, well-trained, tactical, capable individual looking for trouble and stopping it before it gets there. The great sheriff in Lee County, Florida, uh, Carmine Marcino, he's got the perimeter secured in his schools. My great sheriff here yeah. in McLennan County, Texas, uh, Parnell McNamara, nobody's going to get anywhere near a school if they look suspicious. We're going to we're going to look for trouble and stop it before it can yeah. have access to innocent lives. This is not mysterious. So the jury is that... not still out. This is a proven methodology. But the Democrats vetoed legislation that would have enacted these proven safety measures. You don't have to look Pro any proven, further than that, Eric. Pro Ted, proven, proven. Now think about this for a second. You're, 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 you're a family. You're in America. Your father, your mother. The most important asset is it your money? No, it's your children, right? But you go to the bank and they've got four layers of security in there. They've got gla bulletproof glass this big. You got to be buzzed into anywhere where some of the most important things. And why don't we? It, it just it is so crazy that we can't make our, our, our schools safe the way we make our banks safe when every parent who's lost a child, I know, would give every penny they ever had for five minutes with that child. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll make, we'll, we'll, we're okay with it being for our money, but not our kids. Final thought, Ted. And Eric, the final thought is that I know the members of the NRA and Gun Owners of America, the United States Concealed Carry Association, my wife, Shemaine, and I cried tears of blood every time there's one of these mass shootings. We're parents and we're grandparents, we're neighbors. To think that the left will claim that the members of the NRA and Gun Owners of America and people like you and me somehow don't have empathy, somehow don't feel the horror and the treachery and the heartbreak. We feel it. We have actually recommended systems by which lives could have been saved, but because it comes from the gun culture, which is the safety culture, which is the law-abiding law enforcement culture, they reject it because they're not interested in saving lives. They want to disarm America for their last total control maneuver, and it ain't going to happen. Ted Nugent, thank you for being here. Thank you for being my friend. Thank you. Godspeed.